All right. Good morning. Good day. Good evening. No. Hey, uh, guess what? Today is the day after Thanksgiving of 2022. And as a family tradition, we are going to get our Christmas tree. And this year, we are going to Hensler's Nursery here in Hamlet, Indiana. And we're going to take you on our adventure. And we'll take a look and see what they have to offer. Is it worth it? Right now, I can tell you, we are sitting in line. It is 11 o'clock in the morning, and we are in line uh, in, in, on the road um, that leads to it. Over here to my left is Oregon Davis uh, School Corporation, the high school, the elementary school, junior high. And like I said, coming off of US 30, which is south of where we're at from here, they are on, in line also. Our daughter and son-in-law and grandsons are sitting on the highway to get in here. We came in through the back, back roads because well, that's the kind of people we are. We like the back roads. We grew up on the back roads of Stark County. And look at us, we are here. So won't you join us today? Debbie's behind the camera. I'm in front of it. Let's go have some fun, shall we? Let's go. So we're still in line. Give you an idea here. I'm going to stick the camera out. We, we've moved, I will say that, but not much, gang. And there's a line behind us as well. Don't know how much you can see, but yeah. This is going to be a while, but hopefully we'll make it inside and we'll show you what it's all about here at Hensler's Tree Service, okay? All righty. All right, kids, we finally made it down the main road here at Hensler's. And uh, as we're coming in, really wasn't that bad. What would you say, Deb? Maybe 20 minute wait. Yeah. We were down about a quarter of a mile out, Deb thought. So a lot of people here, that's for sure. And like I said, we are, uh, we are making our way in to the tree area and, and where everything's taking place. So um, here at Hensler's, of course, uh, they do have, you can go out and cut your own tree. Or you can pick out the pre-cuts. They also have uh, food trucks. They have um, other um, little storefronts where they sell wreaths and some other decoration. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they also sell food, their own food like hot dogs and whatever. Also, uh, when you come here, they do supply uh, the saws. And don't forget, they also supply the, a little, I don't know, what, what, a cart, I guess is what you would call it, that you can uh, haul your tree back when you go out onto the property itself. Now, I will say this, the last couple of times we've been here, we go clear out there not to find anything that we like and we end up getting a pre-cut. So I'm hoping that certain people today will look at the pre-cut and maybe we'll go that route first. Wanna take any bets? <laughs> All right, anyway, let's go. Uh, we got tree shopping to do. All right, we made it in. We finally parked. Rule number one, when it's a nice day like today and it's gonna be near 50, it's a mud fest out here, just to give you a heads up. But plenty of parking here. Uh, matter of fact, they, as I look at behind Debbie there, they've got some people out here that are directing traffic, which is really, really cool. So, you know, um, and, and they'll tell you where to go as far as parking and, and, and what all have. So uh, check that out when you get out here. We're waiting on a couple other people to show up and get in here so that we can go ahead and do the Christmas tree shopping for ourselves. And of course, um, you know, once we get done here, we'll upload this and that way everybody can see what's going on here in Hensler. Now, for myself and Debbie, uh, we're not new to the area. This is the just a little south of here we grew up, uh, you know, together. So pretty much familiar what's, what's with what is going on. But anyway, looking forward to a good time. One of the things you want to bring when you come out to uh, a tree farm, you might want to bring, yes, always prepared. Make sure you have a tape measure to, you know, double check everything. Also, don't forget, they've got, I've seen people, I don't know, did anybody walk by with a cart? No, they didn't. 
I thought somebody may have had one of the pool carts. Um, you'll grab a pool cart from where we're at, we'll take it, we'll show you where that is. Also, we'll show you uh, uh, where the trees are being cut. We'll also show you the pre-cut. That's probably where everybody should go. Pre-cut, simple, in, out. In the meantime, let's go. So we finally made it in. The gang is all here, walking in front of me. And this, my friends, is Hensler's Nursery. And unbelievable the crowd that we have today. As I said earlier, it's a beautiful day. I think that has a lot to do with it. So when you come in, you have your information booth right there. So if you got any questions or need anything answered. Over here also, if you look where that person is, you'll see where the carts are to uh, haul your trees in. And matter of fact, we'll fling over here. There's somebody right there that's got a tree in one of those carts already. Okay, and then you have the Christmas barn, which is right there. You have the decorating barn, which is right there. And then of course, we have the dainty donut shop, uh, trailer that is. Uh, the bathrooms are right there. That's the bathrooms. So, give you an idea. Anyway, we're gonna make our way through. So let's head on over and uh, see what we're gonna do with trees first. Where are we gonna go cut one or are we going pre-cut? Let's find out. All right, we're gonna go over here. As you can see, there's some wreaths here. Aren't these beautiful wreaths, Mason? Yes. Yes, they are. I wonder, would they fit over you? Let's find out. Hold on, let's do Grab a wreath and put it over your head. The, how do you look with a wreath on your head? With that hair of yours. Let's see here. There it is. Looking good. Yeah. Hold on. All right, just checking that out. All right, so as you can see, Mason is pointing out that is a white pine. Next, we move over so that Mason can inform all of you that is a Fraser fir. And finally, Mason, what do you have? That is a Scotch pine. Thank you, Mason. So here we are walking through the trail. Grayson, uh oh, Grayson's hopping in. Hold on, we got some. Anyway, I just want you to know that there's all the pre cuts. Just to let you know, we'll be back. I will bet on it. We will be back. So here we go. Anyway, when you come in, there's all the buildings there. There's a trail, that's what we're on. And there goes Kristen. Kristen is checking the trail out. I think I will join her. <laughs> Kristen, wait! And that's her son. Look at that. Kristen cannot wait to get a tree at Hensler's Nursery here in Hamlet. So, hey, Chris. So you guys were on US 30, backed up for a, a while, almost an hour. Almost an hour it took them to get in to Hensler's today. So maybe or late, come early or late. Yeah, I'm with Chris. One of the two. Not in the middle of the day like we did, okay. All right, so as we said, Grayson, show them. They do provide us with a saw, correct, Grayson? Yes. Yes, and is it very sharp? Do not try to run across your hands or anything. It, very sharp, okay. All right, now, we all want Fraser fur, this is it. Over here, where Kristen is leading the way. Yeah, believe it or not, over here, that's all it is, is Fraser Furs. Now, these Fraser Furs over here that you can see, there was a sign, they're on sale. All of those right in here, for like $42. But let's go up here and see what we have, shall we? Because this is where everybody says we're cutting our tree. Of course, they've got signage here that states Watch for vines, stumps, and holes. And this is the sizes that they have in this area for the Fraser firs. Believe it or not, I found another special. 
right here. This is a Frasier Fur Special for $42.06, but that's what it is. When I back up, this is what you're getting for that price, gang, okay? Not very tall, maybe if you're lucky six feet, but I'm gonna say less than that. Day two, we haven't left. Still on the search for the perfect tree. Still, well, let's be honest, we're kind of lost. No, we're not. We're still looking. They've got a lot here uh, at Hensler's. And if I don't trip over the vines, um, and like I said, we're in the, we're in the uh, Douglas fir area right now. So, but just give you an idea as I pan around the people are out here. So, all right. All right. I think we have found the tree, Debbie. And there it is. OMG. That is the tree. Yes, hug it, Debbie. For we shall take it home. Once he starts cutting, he starts cutting. Go! Yeah, I'll do it. And this is Dennis cutting the tree. Just getting a picture of Papa doing the. And here we go. The tree is down. And the only one who cut it is Papa. All right, as you can see, once we got the tree, uh, you can bring it over. They do shake them. And then I'll have to check, but I do believe to shake the trees, it is free here. So just to let you know, but I'll, I'll double check. All right. Um, just like I said before, uh, to find out, yes, the uh, shaking of the trees and wrapping them uh, is okay. It's free. At least that's what I was told by one of the workers here. So that is done. Also, um, thank you. Um, right here, you can see where we're at. You can do the express checkout. It's credit card only, but you can do a express checkout. That way, we don't have to mess with everybody up in the main area like we came in. So there you go. Let's move on. All right, now that we found our tree, now we check out the other tree. And it looks like my grandson is the one who's going to do the cutting. And there he is. He's down on the ground. He's not afraid to get dirty. He's going to go at it. Oh, this is like working on a car. And there he is. Dad's reaction. Get up. And then back to G. Daddy gonna start it for you. You're pushing into back it, to you Dad. Know. Back to Mom. By the way, say hi, Goldilocks. Oh, G couldn't get it started. Daddy gonna start it for you. Yo, good job. Yeah. Yes. It it might take power because they are really hard. So, so they're really hard. It takes some power to really saw. All right. Sounds like Dad's got it going. Look at it. You better get down there. Take over. He's down there. He's just watching. I cut it out. Okay. So we went from Douglas fir to con color. color and believe it or not. Oh, there's actually somebody down there. We were the only ones here um, today. Now I will admit, see there they are. There's a lot here. If you like the fuller type trees, this is the place to come. Um, I didn't see a sign. I've got to admit. So, you know, my son-in-law and daughter are the ones that found it and said that they were down here, but they're making everybody, and I'll make my way down here, but what they're doing is they've got everybody just going to the Douglas Furs, and that's it, so, or Fraser Furs, yeah, the Fraser Furs, so, and this is what we're, we have seen so far.
so as we leave when you come down the trail that we have here to the right is where the Fraser firs are okay and then we ended up walking all the way down to there to get the other tree which is the cut con color fir and there's a sign and I didn't even see it but there's the sign for it so and you go down that road okay back to the main area you know I'm thinking as I'm walking here down the main area they've got tractors you don't have to walk we like to walk it well we still can <laughs> but uh, and the tractors coming up behind us I, I can tell you that but anyway you can catch the tractors they've got various ones that you can jump on and off and we'll let this one go behind us or uh, go around us and I'll show it to you as they go but um, it's not that long of a walk to be honest with you and on a beautiful day like we are fortunate to have today this is pretty cool so again nice day but you can hear the tractor coming right now it's free to ride the tractor by the way and they also take your trees with you and there they go and you see the people on there and then you see the trees so they'll take you out to the tree area you just tell them where you want to go they'll take you out there go cut your tree bring it up they'll load it up and they'll take you back to the parking lot all for free on that trees or not even though we're walking um, through the trail here I will admit we've been through here before when it has been snowing or has snowed and it's pretty cool to look beautiful when you're out here so again Hensler nursery if you get the chance check them out all right so we've made our way back to the main area and as I showed earlier some of the shops that they've got here and of course you can go get your picture taken uh, and, and different things like right there it's Christmas tree and kids are putting their faces through there uh, how tall you are which we've done there's Mason and Grayson and Kristen and their dad is standing in line to get some kettle corn swing over to my left here and another thing that Hensler has which is uh, which really is, is kind of cool you can bring the family out here let me show you something okay I don't remember the cost I'm gonna have to get all the information and at the end of the video I will uh, I, I, I will give you all the information from address to hours to what it costs but what they have done here is well oh, somebody's already set up for it is over here you can party you can you can tailgate you can sit around the fire pit see what these folks have done all right and they have a few of them out here matter of fact there's a couple of families out here that is doing that and if you look fires going there picnic table they got their coolers and everybody they spend the day out here now this is not free I do know it costs but I'm not sure what it is so uh, if you're looking to you know have a family gathering you can do that out here So, let me catch up on what took place um, at Hensler's. Once we got our trees, and there was two of them obviously, like I said, uh, my wife and I, and then our daughter and son-in-law and the two grandsons. Uh, my son-in-law and I took them back to the truck, so we put them in there, and like a big dummy, and this is not good if you're trying to, you know, uh, make good videos or vlogs on YouTube, I left the camera in the truck, turn around, we walk back, and it's like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes after we got back there, I realized that I had left the camera, which in a way wasn't a bad idea, and the reason I say that is because of the fact that wherever you went, there was a line. No matter what buildings we went into, there was a line. So that was kind of uh, uh, kind of interesting, but that's good for them. Great business because there are so many people and so many people from different areas. Uh, I could see on the license plates and everything. So very, uh, you know, very happy for the folks at Hensler's to draw that many people in. It was roughly around 3.30 Central Time that my son-in-law son and I noticed that 
you know, as we were heading back to our vehicle, no more lines coming in. There was a car here and there. So that seemed to be the perfect time <laughs> to come in. Unfortunately, uh, at 3.30 Central Time, sunsets roughly around 4.30 at this time of the year. So um, those that they were coming in, maybe getting a tree or looking for a tree, unless it was a pre-cut, uh, only had an hour to go out in the field. Hensler's Nursery, let me tell you a little bit about what I've got. Uh, they've been running the Christmas tree farm. This is their 66th year. Uh, they're up to three generations. Stanley Hensler uh, and his wife, Catherine, ended up um, buying 300 acres of land and decided to raise their family there and start the Christmas tree farm on that one. John Hensler, their son, uh, took over the farm and is the one who came up with Christmas Fest for Henslers and it's huge. And now John's son, Joe, probably runs the, of course, uh, the farm itself. And the, like I said, they're doing a fantastic job. I had the opportunity to meet John Hensler a few years ago. Uh, uh, there at Hensler's, they did some advertising with our radio station back in the day. So uh, that, was, that was really, really cool. Now, if you're looking for the address for Hensler Farm, it's 5715 North. 750 East in Hamlet, Indiana. Best way to tell you, and I've always said this, you know, I could put the address, you could look it up obviously online. They have their website at henslersnurseryindiana.com. But if you just type in Oregon Davis High School, okay, Oregon hash ta or, uh, slash Davis High School, and they're right across the street. It, it's easy to find. It's all just off of US 30. Uh, I can tell you that. Uh, a couple other things I wanted to tell you guys um, that uh, I, I mentioned on a video before. First of all, um, the baling and the shaking of the trees. I asked a young man that was there. He told me that you know it was free. Well, come to find out, it isn't. It's a dollar, one dollar to shake and bale the tree. You know, uh, to put the twine around the tree. So keep that in mind when you're going in there. Plenty of trees, oh my gosh, there were. Last year when we went and we didn't go to Hensler's, we went to another one and next year we'll do the same thing. But um, they were short on trees. And uh, from what I hear, the same thing happened to the tree farm that we went to last year that um, they, they were short on trees. Not the case for Hensler's with those 300 acres. Let me tell you, they got plenty of trees and the pre-cuts, oh my gosh. There's so many of them, and plus the ones in, in, out in the um, out on the property. So we found ours. We cut it down. Uh, other families were doing the same thing. So if you get the chance to head out there, please, please, please take a look at that and and check them out. Okay. Also, uh, Christmas Fest. Uh, it is really neat. They've got so much going on. Um, let me. Um, I'm, I'm just making sure I got all the information for you. Um, of course, uh, let's see, what do they got? Their hours uh, until December 18th of 2022 will be 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. That is Central Standard Time, so you've got that. Uh, Santa will be there on Saturdays and Sundays through the season. Pets, yes, lots of pets. Um, when I say pets, mostly dogs, obviously. Well, it's all dogs, I should say. Uh, pets have to be on leashes and are welcome. Also, there's a variety of food vendors on the weekends, and we did check that out. They had, uh, let's see, they had a donuts. They had barbecue, uh, barbecue place there. They also had some crafters. Uh, of course, Santa Claus was there. They offered hot chocolate and some other drinks if you wanted, non-alcoholic, just to let you know on that one. And then of course, uh, let the kids know, they also have the reindeer, they have a peacock, they've got chickens and roosters there uh, that you can check out when you're going uh, throughout Hensler's Nursery, okay? Also, oh, excuse me, um, Santa has a template for the kids to download and print to help them get started on their Christmas wish list. So if the kids haven't seen Santa yet and you're heading out to Hensler's Nursery, head on over there and uh, go to their website. Again, uh, that's henslersnurseryindiana.com and download the template and you can start, your, your child or grandchildren can start their wish list there as well. Uh, also, like I said, uh, food vendors, uh, sweet kettle corn, I forgot about that. My son-in-law didn't, but I did. Uh, he got some sweet kettle corn, barbecue, 
coffee, donuts, and there's a, there's a bunch of other things as well. So there you go, gang. Oh, and payment. All right, you can pay uh, in the field like we did. You went and or we went. We cut down the tree, right? So once we were done cutting down the tree, we took it in that little cart and we hauled it up in, into the field there. They had a little shack. Uh, the shacks only take credit or debit cards. That's it, okay? No cash at the shacks. And they'll shake and, and bail the tr uh, tree for you right there. And as I mentioned, they've also got the tractors. You can throw the tree in the back of the trailer and they'll take you back up front. We walked both down and, ba and back uh, when we were there. Now, if you happen to use the um, main entrance uh, where everything is, the little village, I would call it, uh, there at Hensler's, uh, yeah, they'll take cash, they'll take credit cards in any of the red buildings, okay? So, just to let you know. Best thing to do when you get there, if you've never been to Hensler's, go to the information booth that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Check that out. Ask them questions. Uh, also, don't forget, I showed you guys this. This is really neat, especially when it's out snowing or whatever. Uh, they've got the areas where you can start have your own fire pit. You rent that small area and you can tailgate. You can party. Uh, have a small little gathering at Hensler's Nursery and there were a few that were doing that. So, um, let me see here real quick. I did not see... And I say that now, probably no. Uh, by the way, there's no entry fee, of course. You can just park and and come in. Um, uh, it, like I said, no entry fee to the farm, no, no far, uh, fee, excuse me, no fees to park. They do accept all major credit cards. And as I said, they have several checkout stations. They have restrooms, the pets are welcome. And uh, like I said, the vendors as well. Unfortunately, I do not see here. Let me, let, let's do this here real quick. Now I am on their website, as I said before, it is uh, Hensler's Nursery Indiana, uh, dot com. And let's see, it's the Christmas season, barn vendors activities. Workshop. Um, I'm, I'm on here, but if you go there, you'll be able to see where they have the information. Uh, I'm sure about, or you can call them also while you're there to find out what the cost is to rent a picnic table, the fire pit, uh, the and all that uh, to set up. All right, so that was it. Uh, we got our tree. We ended up paying. $90, I believe it was, if memory serves me correct. Uh, basically, uh, with taxes and everything, 10, um, excuse me, $10 a foot is what it came down to. And um, when we wrap up, I'll uh, show you the video of the uh, tree as we finished it here at home today. So, so again, thanks for watching. Hope uh, I've been in, you know, this was informative for you. Uh, this is the man cave, by the way. That's where I'm at, videotaping. And we hope to have more video for you guys uh, coming up here in the near future. So stick around for that. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We do appreciate you. And if there's something that, you know, here in Northwest Indiana that you want me to check out, please, please head to our web or head to our YouTube channel and leave a comment. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping that maybe you will and we'll see what we can come up with, okay? All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Up next, don't forget our final Christmas tree and I'll walk you through that. All right, thanks. And here's the final product. We bought a nine foot Frasier fur and we spent the evening and the rest of the day not only decorating the tree, but also the rest of our house. As you can see, and our dog is barking. But uh, there you go. So that is what our tree looks like from Hensler's.